Good morning. I welcome you to this Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. The Lord invites us to choose the better portion. What do you choose to be at his feet? or to be occupied with other things for the moments that we have failed to stay with him at his feet. Let us ask God for his mercy and pardon. Lord Jesus, you have shown us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have given us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the good shepherd leading us into everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscious dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, you have heard my former way of life in Judaism, how I persecuted the church of God beyond measure and tried to destroy it. Progressed in Judaism beyond many of my contemporaries among my race. Since I was even more zealot for my ancestral traditions, but when he, who from my mother's womb had set me apart and called me through his grace, so was pleased to reveal his son to me so that I might proclaim him to the Gentiles. I did not immediately consult flesh and blood, nor did I go up to Jerusalem. To those who were apostles before me, rather, I ran to Arabia and then returned to Damascus. Then after three years, I went up to Jerusalem to confer with Cephas and remained with him for 15 days. But I did not see any other apostles, only James, the brother of the Lord, as to whom I am writing. And to you, behold, before God, I am not lying. Then I went to regions of Syria and Cilicia, and I was unknown personally to the churches of Judea that are in Christ. They only kept hearing that the one who once was persecuting us is now preaching the faith he once tried to destroy. So they glorified God because of me. The word of the Lord. The responses guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. 
O Lord, you have probed me, you know me, you know when I sit and when I stand. You understand my thoughts from afar, my journeys and my rest you scrutinize. With all my ways, you are familiar. Guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. Truly, you have formed my inmost being. You knit me in my mother's womb. I give you thanks that I am fearfully, wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. Guide me, Lord, among the everlasting way. My soul, as you knew full well, nor was my frame unknown to you. When I was made in secret, when I was fashioned in the depths of earth, guide me, Lord, along the everlasting way. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus entered a village where a woman whose name was Martha welcomed him. She had a sister named Mary who sat beside the Lord at his feet listening to, to speak. Martha, burdened with much serving, came to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me by myself to do the serving? Tell her to help me. The Lord said to her in a reply, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and worried about many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, and it will not be taken from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Mary has taken the better part. What is your better part today? One of the people that we have listened to this morning is the testimony of St. Paul. St. Paul, in the first reading of today, tells us his experience of taking the better part of making a choice in life. He says when he made his choice to accepting Jesus, to embracing Jesus in his life, and he dedicated all that to preaching this same Jesus. Even when his own people that he was preaching to continued to identify him as one who used to kill them, he never retreated. He did not look back. He went ahead even to other towns trying to speak about the same Lord, the better part. The better part in Jesus changes our lives. And so we encounter Mary also choosing the better part, sitting at the feet of Jesus, meaning that she has time to listen to Jesus, she has time to adore Jesus, she has time to praise Jesus. And these choices make Jesus to say, Mary, you have chosen the better part. And what you have chosen, nobody will ever take it away from you. So the grace we receive in prayer at the feet of Jesus, no one can ever grab it from us. Nobody can ever take away that grace. 
of dedicating five minutes to come and be at the feet of Jesus. Nobody can ever grab you away that one hour you have separated every day to come and be at the feet of Jesus. Nobody. That is your grace that God gives to you. And so today the Lord invites you in the midst of all the work that you do, do you dedicate some little time to be at his feet? Do you dedicate your time to see him in all that you do every day? That busy day that you have, do you see Jesus in that work? Whether you are going to cook, you are going to sweep, you are going to be in the office writing for others, do you see Jesus in that very work that you are doing? That is what the Lord wants, recognizing him, being at his feet in all that you are going to do. We pray that you and me may have the spirit of recognizing the Lord Jesus in every circumstance of life. We stand and present our petitions. We pray for our country during this time of electioneering that the good Lord may continue to protect us, to enlighten us, and to guide us to the right way of getting good leaders. We pray to the Lord. We pray for ourselves that we may find time to be with the Lord in prayer, we pray to the Lord. For those that have asked for our prayers, members of our families, those that are sick, that the good Lord may continue to bring his healing upon them, we pray to the Lord. We pray for our brothers and sisters who have passed on, especially for William Hift, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray to the Lord for peace in the whole world. We pray to the Lord. Almighty, ever-living God, help us to always make a good choice of being at your feet, and that the grace we receive, we may know that it, may ne it will never be taken away from us. Once you give it to us, we make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the earth, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Pray, dear brothers and sisters, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice into your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept, O oh Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with the dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for your holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like did you fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and the resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you, Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and James, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coheirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, 
our God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamp of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the lamp of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are you called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say what, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume through Christ our Lord. The, five, uh, the final blessing, let us applause our altar servers who are doing it for the first time. Eh? So they have done so well, and we thank God for them. The Lord be with you. And may the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. <laughs>